Skadge, Scumbag Extraordinaire. And the first entry on our top five companions, we gladly force the room temperature, has zero redeeming qualities. However, if you cruise the internet long enough, you're going to find people commenting that he's their favorite companion. Now, you might initially think, oh great, psychos are in the comment section. But before we alert the FBI, let's take a look at Skadge and why he might legitimately be a great companion. Well, Great might be a tad of an overstatement, but still, let's give him a look-see. Skadge is a Hauk, a species with the basic description of large, prone to violence, and as often as not, serious muscle in the crime industry putting murder and mayhem to good use, with Skadge being a standout. Hey, we all need to be good at something, right? He was so bad, he was kicked off his own planet, went to Coruscant, and became a superstar scuzzball, only being captured through the joint operations of the police, the military, and the SIS. He then proved to be such a horror show that he was shipped off to Belsavis, where we meet him. Oh, and while on Belsavis, he was hyper-violent and not suited for their experiments, ultimately spending most of his time in solitude military until all the prison riots start. All of this history tells us that Skadge is not stupid, he knows how to organize, and he knows how to use the system. All the right qualities and contacts if you're a bounty hunter who's a piece of garbage, dark side, homicidal, psychotic. Did you cut off Yalt's head and give it to his wife? Did you kill Zevin and let all the other slaves die? You know, those things you can do right off the bat on Hutta? If so, then welcome aboard, Skadge. Heck, Skadge is unflappable and appreciates quality violence and threats. And he just may have the highest confidence level in the entire freaking galaxy. And he can actually be funny. Oh, and you can even get approval if you tell him you're gonna kill him, like throw him out an airlock. The digs ain't much to look at. At least it's roomy. What do you do for fun in this dump? Mostly I throw loudmouth ingrates out the airlock. My kind of entertainment. You can't help but admire that on some level. And the more despicable you're playing your bounty hunter, the more fun it is. I mean, if you want to romp on the dark side, Skad just might be your best companion. With dark side, lunatic, Jason, boring as dirt, Zalik, and Brunmark, Skadge is a riot. Skaz is the type of character that lets the writers just go nuts. And he's a great example of the PC could never do it, but this guy can. Whether he's beating up droids or just snotting off, the responsibility of the story never falls on him. The writers can have as much fun as they want with this guy. He's the epitome of secondary characters getting to have the most fun. If our PC goes too far, it kind of stretches the credibility of the story. But Skadge is free to be as insane and as over the top as he wants to be. And it's often just delightful delightfully entertaining. Dirty rock! Any particular reason you trashed that droid? Cause it was here! The rats scurried down this little hole while you were taking a sweet time wrecking the place! And there's something else just as important. Skadge provides that all-important alternative to the good side, or the not-quite-so-homicidal side. Because as we've said it before, and probably say it again, if you don't have the choice, nothing really matters. So if I have a chance to play an absolute lunatic dirtbag ball of scum, but I choose to play something other than that, then my choice matters. If all I can do is be good, then I don't really have much of a choice. In Skadge, almost no matter how you're playing, offers a level of conflict, and conflict is always good in a story. And it also gives us a chance to feel good about going ham on the universe sometimes, without having every other companion whine and give us disapproval because we were mean to that person. Sorry folks, Skadge and I are gonna go out and slaughter and have fun. Sometimes you have to bring a little balance to the force yourself, right? And did I mention when you get the Alliance alert to go get him again, he's running the Black Sun on Coruscant. Probably not a bad resource to have when fighting somebody like the Eternal Empire. All that said, I think the reason Skadge is hated so much is how they forced him on your ship. You've been rubbing me the wrong way since I met you, but I'll let that slide if you do me a favor. I figured joining up with you is my best shot of getting off of this rock. What you say? I'll kill for you. Bad chance, Psycho. I'm done butting heads with you. You're wrong there. I'm leaving on your ship. With or without you. Get me? If it gets me out of here, fine. Smart. Real smart. Just get this little twerp out of my sight. Not cool, Bioware. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Rod Sword, not cool. My super badass character would shoot him. Who cares how much confidence he has or if he's funny? So what do you think? Like Skadge? Just make you want to load up another bounty hunter and go hang with the Skadge man? Or do you just kick back with fond memories of shooting him in the face? Gotta say, that last option really felt good. But it wouldn't be nearly as good if I didn't have the choice to go be slime. Leave us your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.